Welcome back, everybody. Some more Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. This is the third mission, uh, playing through the British campaign. And if you didn't see the first two episodes, you can click on a link in the description and take you back to those first two episodes so you can get caught up. It's going to be our first land mission today. Somewhat uh, limited on the supplies and the ships that I can take, so I can only take one. I've only got one uh, troop ship available. Uh, we're going to have two units of fusiliers. The first fusiliers are armed with sea service musket and bayonet. I have no uh, weapons with bayonets available for the second fusilier, so they're going to have to primarily be our unit that's doing shooting and not melee combat. Uh, this is going to be a tough mission. Uh, we are on the hardest difficulty for land missions, and we're going to be going in with a pretty much a skeleton crew for snakes and powder, but the reward is immense. Uh, it's going to give me almost 30,000 right here that we can take into this plus if maybe we can nab some of his supplies in the process that can get us some additional revenue so let's see what happens all right so we do get some other troops uh, provided to us for this mission that's certainly going to help so lead the advance guard and rec reconnoiter the ground ahead the main force and rear guard will follow shortly so these troops that i'm fighting with so far are not my troops uh so honestly, though, I, I haven't invested much at all into this force. So even if I lose everybody, as long as I win the mission, I'm really going to make out well. Your objective is to advance to the last known position of our task force. Advance cautiously. We cannot afford to lose contact with any more of our forces. Good luck, Captain. We're going to get harassed by skirmishers the entire way on this mission, I would imagine. So we'll start moving forward, and I think the closer we get to the camp, the more of our troops we're going to end up getting for this one, if I remember correctly how this works. And then I think once we take the camp, we get even more reinforcements. I'm expecting we're going to run into skirmishers sooner rather than later, so I'm just watching for that to happen. There they are. So we'll pretty quickly dispatch with some of these guys, I think. I'm going to see what kind of weapons they have. Noakes does not have bayonets, so we don't want to get into any melee combat situations with him. These marines do, and so does Piggott. So those are my two forces I want to be doing my hand-to-hand -hand fighting with. We got more skirmishers coming in at us on this side. Alright, we got that guy. Let's deal with these guys. One volley should do it. There we go. So I'm just going to hold Noakes right there. Facing this way, though. Until we finish them off. And we'll start, or we'll continue our advance north with these guys. Well, honestly, I should send a smaller unit. And send my bigger forces this way. So Farnaby can kind of just sit tight right there, guarding our rear. All right, here comes our main force. These are going to be the troops that I actually brought into the battle, I think. There's some supplies. Very much like to have those. I need my melee troops over there, though, for that. Get on them.
He's probably got more troops up here, so I'm gonna keep Noakes close by. Come on, Piggy, get at these guys. Alright, Farnaby, as expected, runs back into these guys. His supplies are gonna get away from me. Darn it. These guys are gonna get exhausted. They're at 17% condition now. All right, let's let him go. We'll wait for the reinforcements to come up. All right, we're running into another line of troops here including guns, which I'd very much like to have. Noakes is the one that does not have bayonets. These guys are at 13% condition, so I can't really charge with them. Oh, there's another unit with 80 men right there. Millen, what's he got? He's got bayonets. Charge. Hurry up, get up there. So do these guys. Let's charge with them too. Don't fire. Uh. These are the guys that don't have bayonets, so of course he charged right into them. Mm, that hurt. Canister fire. Wow, brutal. Charging after after those supplies just really hurt Piggott's condition. Gotta have those guns. But he's gonna be in no position to be able to get in there in melee combat. He's at zero condition now. Exhausted. Darn it. We'll still drive him off the guns. We're gonna get Noakes up there to take over these guns because I don't want Piggott doing that when he's my melee specialist. We just need him to protect them until I can take them. this. Oh, this is my captured unit. Okay, now we just need to get everybody formed up. You really still like to have those supplies, if at all possible. First things first, let's grab the guns. Milne's condition's not much better, but maybe he can get the supplies. Merge some of these sailor units together. I'm gonna need every man on this mission. We're 
up to 28%. That might be enough. Uh, there go the supplies. They're going to run. We'll have to grab them when they get into the settlement. Go, 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 go. Maybe we do have a chance to get him here. Alright, that's enough firing on the supplies. Oh, don't let him get away again. Condition zero. Darn it. Okay, we finally shattered the crew for the supplies. He does still have a unit down here that's giving me grief. Let's pull Chamberlain out of there, although Chamberlain's just about shattered as a unit. We're going to send Horatio Nelson down with a small group to deal with these guys. I don't want Milne to grab those, though. Let's use Ferris. No, oh, Ferris can't. those guys out. Alright, Ferris, grab those supplies. We may need them before this is all said and done. Now, I want to be careful advancing here because once I take this objective, it's going to trigger a timer, which means I'm going to have limited a time amount of time before I get into the next phase where they're going to counterattack from all sides. Okay, so we're going to make our move now. I'm going to make sure I have at least one unit equipped with bayonets here and a couple of them up here we're going to get the guns right here into the center along with the supplies uh, so Milne, Piggott, Farnaby all have bayonets and then I should be getting some more reinforcements I'm merging Nelson and Chamberlain and they're not going to really do a whole lot of good for me uh, mainly, I'm just going to use them as kind of a little extra force to help out somewhere. So there, we've captured, we've triggered the 10 minute contested timer now. That'll give me just enough time to get these guys in position. I think the first attack will come from here. Okay, the camp was found abandoned. Our men are either dead or have been captured by the Spaniards. Our scouts have reported that the Spanish are sending reinforcements. Seems those supplies were bait to lure us away from the main force around Santa Cruz. Yet those supplies are in dire need, and all there is to be done is to hold our position. Here come the attacks from all sides. God be with us. So Shackelford and Noakes will hold right here. Nelson will be, I guess we'll just kind of stick them right here for now. We should be getting some reinforcements at some point. Now all there is to do is wait and see where the attack comes first. We've got an hour and a half that we have to hold. All right, our rear guard has arrived. That's good news. Oh, they're already right here too. Perfect. All right. We'll send Farnaby right up this way. He's got bayonets. Weston and Weston. Can we merge them? Yeah, let's do that. And we're just going to send them right up into the middle and use them as a reinforcement wherever we might need it. Oh, he's going to lead with his cannon, huh? Fair enough. Let's take them. Ah. 
He's gonna charge right into me. Hey, go for it, man. These guys got bayonets. Artillery unit there. Oh, he's gonna charge right into me here too. All right, we're gonna need some help. Let's get Farnaby up there as quick as we can. Oh, we're actually holding our own though. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Gotta get at these guns, cause that's a big artillery unit that I do not want opening up on me. How's our conditions? Pretty good. If you set up the guns in the swamp, that seems less than ideal. We're gonna take canister to the face if we don't hurry up and charge in on these guys. There we go. We'll get Farnaby in there too. That's a nice artillery unit to be able to grab. This is actually going a lot better than it did the last time I played this mission on my last campaign. Maybe because I have a little better idea what to expect. Okay, let's see. We're still trying to get the rest of our units. Oh, I guess we've got everybody up there now. We haven't had an attack come from this side yet. I know that one usually comes. Let's pull these guns out of here. Here they come. Alright, we can send Nelson over there to help Weston as well. Because I think we've got the situation on the northeast side in hand. I'm actually going to hold Nelson back because I don't want anything happening to him. He may be going for a straight melee attack on Noakes. You may not get the chance. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, these guys do have bayonets, so let's get him in there. Wow, Noakes shattered just like that? Oh, that was weak. Everywhere else we're pretty solid. Shackleford held his own. I don't know that West and it doesn't look like Weston's going to. This unit this unit under Lopez must be just really tough. I don't know what the deal is there. Let's get Nelson up, get him firing on them. Maybe we'll bring these guns over here to help out. Oh, he's gonna come right at Pickett. Shackleford's dealing with units on two sides now. All right, Nelson, hit him. Enemy spotted in the south. Oh, lovely. Good thing I pulled these guns out of here. And then there's another 150 coming from over here. My goodness, that's way more men than I expected. That's what I get for saying, oh, this seems like it's going better than last time. All right, we're starting to turn the tide over here on the west approach. I think we'll be okay there. Let's get these guns firing. Oh, Farnaby. Let's see if we can wipe out Capitillo here. Capitillo. We shattered some regulares. That's good news. Shackleford's going to need some help. Come on, Nelson. Get up there. 
to get Shackleford to fall back. Oh, I'll hit these guys. We got four. We got six guns to fire on them. Well, the first two did nothing. Wow. All those guns opened up. Did nothing to Naboa. I don't know if it's because he's behind that building there or what. Shackleford just broke. Oh boy. Now we gotta bring Milne down here. We got 58 minutes left. He's gonna come in right on my guns. More Spaniards are attacking. Oh my goodness. There you go, Weston. Nice job. Nelson, good job turning them back. All right, Milne threw Crespi back. That helps. We need Farnaby to deal with Naboa. Boys. There we go. Naboa's done. Alright. It got a little tense there for a few minutes. But I think we're good now. We've got 51 minutes left to hold, but I think we've dealt with the majority of the Spanish forces. All right, Pickett, you should probably drop back. I think that's going to just about do it. We just got to keep routing these two units. They'll probably shatter before long. Okay. So that's going to do it for this one. So it worked out pretty good. We had some pretty tense moments in there. But in the end, all's well that ends well. We captured eight four-pound cannon. Uh, we captured a nice amount of... The 38 uh, musket with sword bayonets. We grabbed almost 10,000 supplies, which translates into more funds. Uh, we've got two promotions, so that's always a good thing. And we can get those promotions and get better officers. Uh, and we set ourselves nicely, uh, set ourselves up nicely for the rest of the campaign. So we'll see where we're at now. Okay, so you see now we've got nearly 50,000 in funds, 42 reputation points. That's all really good news, and that'll set us up nicely for the... Uh, we've got a, a side mission and a naval battle to fight, uh, both of which we're going to be in better position now. We can start looking at some research options. We can probably pick up uh, a fifth-rate Hermione class to take into the mission uh, ahead with 42 guns. That's going to be helpful, but that's all for another day. Let me know your thoughts about all that. If you drop a like, I'd greatly appreciate it, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.